SeatGeek. For all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code KEYPOUNDINTV. Hey everybody, I'm your host at Grande Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cool cat put your paws up if you're rocking with the Big Cat. Today, we're going to talk about Matt Corral. Struggles against the Washington Commodores. Wow, is it time to be concerned? Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. If you see this face, that means I score. If you're new to the channel, peep, 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 peep. What is he doing? I like this channel, but I don't want to subscribe. But peep, peep, peep. Don't be a peeper. Only you can prevent peeping. If you're new to the channel, don't peep on the channel and then peep out and then peep on every time I post a video. Just hit the like button and subscribe, all right? Make sure you subscribe to also the Keep Pounding TV podcast, our sister channel. Follow me over at Twitter at Keep Pounding TV on Twitter as well. Be sure to join me on TikTok at Keep Pounding TV podcast. Be sure to join the Discord as well. If you join the Discord and get to 10,000 subscribers on Keep Pounding TV Podcast, our sister channel, we'll be giving away three Xbox Series S's, all right? Last but not least, shop with us at KeepPoundingTVShop.com for some really cool merchandise, including Panthers Uncensored gear. Now, that being said, y'all, we got to talk about it. Matt Corral had his debut against the Washington Commanders today, and it was less than uh, settling. Um... I want to try to bring some clarity on why he struggled, and is it a big concern? Uh, according to one source, a fan that was at, actually at the game, he said he sat behind the Panthers bench. He seen Matt Corral going back and forth to, day, uh, to Matt Rule. Uh, this is around the time when P.J. Walker was struggling, had a couple three and outs. He was going back and forth, back and forth, allegedly asking him to get in the game. To the point where Matt Rule became irate and yelled at him. All this is allegedly, I wasn't there, but he said he was there. He seen it with his own eyes and heard it with his own two ears. That Matt Rule yelled at him and said, everybody will, uh, and, and I quote, everybody will get their turn. Then he turned to the offensive line and said, everybody will get their turn. Close quote. If this is true, it makes you look at things in a different perspective here. Now, why would Matt Rule... Not Matt Rule. Why would Matt Corral be so anxious to get in the game if leading up to this game, which I'm pretty sure Matt Rule did, he let everybody know what their expectations of playing time could be. So the fact that you get to the game, knowing what the expectations is, and you're going back and forth to him, whining about getting in the game, it makes me look at Matt Corral a little different. If, the, if this is true, again, if this is true, my man said he was at the game. He watched it. He heard it with his own two ears. Yo, it's, it's, it just doesn't sit right with me. But from what we do know, let's stick with to what we do know, man. Matt Corral was thrown out there with, with you know, less than average players. I mean, it was just really, really bad there, man. Um, you Nobody could succeed with that kind of cast around him. It was almost as if it was sabotagery at some point. And the reason why I said I believe it could be sabotagery is, again, a rookie quarterback who has a lightning release, you know what I mean, coming out of college. I mean, last thing Matt Rule wants to have happen is put that guy in and he succeeds. Do you know what happens if Matt Corral goes out there, goes for two touchdown drives, and just lights it up? Now people are going to say when Baker struggles or when Sam struggles, we got to put this guy in. Now, again, this is just my conspiracy theory. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm right or wrong. But my thing is, hey, let's prove a point. Put him out there with less than average players, and let's see what he can do. I mean, Washington came hard after him, man. They were, they were coming with blitzes. They tore the man's head off, for God's sake. I mean, his helmet off. <laughs> it looked like his head was off, but his helmet got tore off. In spite of, he still led a game-winning drive that led to field goals. I beg to differ. I think it was the, the Washington Commodores defense. They gave up some penalties that led to a field goal. But some people say he still led a game-winning drive. No, it's not time to be concerned just yet here. Um... It definitely, it definitely, I know it probably hurt his pride a little bit to go out there and play like that. It probably hurt his pride to be out there with people that he normally wouldn't even play with in college, you know what I mean? Or in the NFL. So, to me, Matt Rule messed up by putting P.J. Walker out there for a long time, you know what I mean? And then you had him out there with a slightly better cast than Matt Corral. But if you truly want to see what you got in Matt Corral, what you need to do is you need to put him out there with a decent uh, cast around him. 
decent receiving core, a decent lineman core. Let's see what we got. Nothing good comes out of sticking Matt Corral out there with a bunch of nobodies and allowing him to get his butt beat. Nothing good comes out of that. If anything, it's counterproductive because you're already dealing with a guy who is, you know, psychologically dealt with depression. A guy who has openly admitted that sliding in the draft has hurt him. A guy who has dealt with stuff like that could be any a ticking time bomb at any moment. So um, you have to definitely be mindful of that as well. But at the end of the day, man, I don't think it really helped. I don't think Matt wrote him helping out. Going into game two, will we see more Matt Corral? I don't know. Maybe there's a rotation thing where now PJ will take the four string snaps. I don't know. But ultimately, I think going into New England uh, Patriots uh, joint practice and the game on Friday, I think you're going to see a lot more of Baker and Sam. But I just don't know how much of Matt Corral. There's nothing to worry about right now. Be honest with you. Matt, Matt Rule has been super, super, super transparent, allegedly, according to Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold has said, hey, Matt Rule has told us this is what's going to be. It's going to be a competition. You can expect this. You can expect that. That leads me to believe if he's that transparent with Matt, if he's that transparent with Baker Mayfield, if he's that transparent with Sam Darnold, why wouldn't he be transparent with Matt Corral? So my point is, is, Matt Corral needs to chill out. You need to chill your butt out because I strongly believe he is transparent. I am strongly believe that Matt, Matt Rule told uh, uh, Baker Mayfield, not Baker Mayfield, but uh, Matt Corral that, hey, man, you got to wait a while. It's going to be a minute. You know what I mean? But the competitive and of, uh, the competitive nature in a man, it always allows for them to fight. You know what I mean? Even though you know you're not going to be a starter, even though you know you're not going to have a chance to be a number two or three, it, that competitive nature wants you to fight. But... Same time, you know, my man Matt Corral needs to chill out and really just take a deep breath and learn. You know what I mean? Now is not the time to show what you got. That time is coming. And when it comes, you better be ready, man, or you're going to catch heat from everywhere. But right now, it's the time to sit back and be, learn not to be anxious for nothing. But I do believe they didn't really help him out. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion here. If it's me personally, I would like to see him in there, at least with the number two offensive lineman. You know what I mean? Couple of number two offensive linemen, you know what I mean? And, and you know what I mean? Don't put them out there with guys that's probably gonna be cut. You know, if that guy would have went out there, and got hurt, then we would be looking like, uh, why did you have him out there with such a bad cast? Uh, 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 uh. There's no need to panic, Panthers fan. He's gonna be just fine. There is some questions. Can he read the field? You know, like I said, coming from a one read system, a lot of people said Matt Rule didn't do him wrong. Matt Rule didn't put him out there and have him done wrong. It was more so he just can't read the field. I don't think that's the case either. But you do have to consider he is coming from a one read system. And like I said, when they were coming with blissings and stuff, you know, it's not the fact that he couldn't read it. I just think that he had time to read it, you know what I mean? Because they were already in his face. So I could be wrong on both of those things, man. I really could be wrong on there. But all in all, man, going forward, Matt Corral, if you're listening, somebody near him, please tell him to chill out, cool out. If you are anxious to get in the game, you know what I mean? This is your turn to learn. And I, like I said, it doesn't benefit Matt Rule to have you come in there and show out. It doesn't benefit him because that's more pressure. So with that being said, it's kind of like a it's like a game behind the game. You know what I mean? It's like I got you for the future, but I don't want you for now. I'm gonna so 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 what happens if Baker Mayfield struggles, Sam Darnold struggles, and he's killing it? That that's not gonna be good for Matt Rule. So the best thing he could do is kind of bury you a little bit, but don't take it personal. Um, I do kind of hate this little teach me a lesson kind of thing because he did it with um he did it with uh uh, uh baker mayfield and and, and, and Iquanu. he did it with Iquanu as well i'm gonna teach you a lesson nothing's earned you gotta come off the bench and i hate that look let the best man go out there and play forget all the politics man i think matt rule does dabble in politics a lot but if he ever puts that aside and just let let, 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 let the players show off what they got and really just, you know, don't worry about the pressure that's going to build up on you if he succeeds or if he fails. Just let whoever is the best man go out there. I think you'll see a better team out here. But uh, as long as you're playing politics and, you know what I mean, I got to keep him buried and play with the third, it's not going to bow well for you anyway. All right? But that's just my perspective here. Matt Corral is going to be just fine. Give him some time. Give him some years. Give him some help. When he's on the field, he's going to be all right. Uh, I'm your host, Grunner Guy. Also, I'm not the big cat. Put the paws up. If you rock with the big cat, tell him how you guys feel. Did Matt Corral do, I mean, did Matt Rule do him dirty? Be honest. Do you feel like Matt Rule didn't do him no good to try to help him out? Or did Matt, uh, Matt uh, Corral just got too impatient? He got too anxious. He's trying to get out there, do too much. 
what do you think, man? Is it time to panic? I know, listen, I'll put it to you like this. I just watched highlights of Kenny Pickett, Sam Howe, and Desmond Ritter. And those guys look good. So I can understand the anxiety and the pressure that building up in him. You know what I mean? Think about that, bro. You're watching people that came out in the same draft class as you, and they're killing it, bro. So I know that that anxious is there, bro. I know it's there, man. But, ah, man, my heart goes out to the young man. But you just got to wait your turn. God already got your plate. Don't try to scoop any more on it, man. All right, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check me out on TikTok as well, Keep Pounding TV Podcast, on Twitter at Keep Pounding TV. Also, join me at uh, Discord. Make sure you join the Discord. And last but not least, shop with us at KeepPoundingTVShop.com. Let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say. Let the church say, Paul's up. Keep pounding. Carolina on top. Forever, baby. Thank you guys for watching the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Hang around for a little bit and check out one of these two really cool videos.